welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how you can install the full desktop version of Raspbian on your Raspberry Pi 4. This is one of the basic things that you're going to need if you want to start up your Raspberry Pi and use it. And you're only going to need a micro SD card with at least 16 gigs of storage and some software that I'll provide a link to in the description below. But before you get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the content that I create, you're welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you would smash that like button. And now, let's get cracking. So, just click the link that I have provided for you in the description, and this will redirect you to the Raspberry Pi website. I'm going to click on Raspbian over here and you're going to see the following operating system. This is the Raspbian Buster Lite. This is very helpful if you're going to have a server, for example a Minecraft server or a Plex server running on your Raspberry Pi and you want it to consume as little as possible electricity. You're going to want to download this because it's a light version. But the version I'm going to download is the Raspbian Buster with desktop and recommended software. This is the one that you should download if you want to use your Raspberry Pi as a desktop replacement. So go ahead and download the zip. Okay, I downloaded this. And in order to flash this software onto your Raspberry Pi, you're going to need the following program. It's called Belena Etcher. And this is just one of the greatest software out there to flash anything onto your micro SD card, especially operating systems. So you're just going to download it for Windows and save it. Just wait for it to download and yeah, just download the software. All right, now that everything is done downloading and you've hopefully installed the Belena Etcher software, you're going to double click on the zip file. I already have it opened and you're going to extract the ISO file of the Raspbian operating system. So just press Extract to and OK. This might take a bit of time, so we'll just fast forward this clip. Now that the extracting is done, you can plug in your micro SD card into your PC and open up the Belena Etcher software. First of all, you're going to select the image, in this case, the ISO file of the Raspbian Buster operating system and your USB device, in our case, the micro SD card, and hit flash. This might take a while till it's done flashing. I'm just going to fast forward and I'll be back in just a sec. Now that the flash is complete, you want to take the SD card out of your PC and plug it into your Raspberry Pi and boot it up. Okay, now the Pi has booted up and it's going to greet you with a little warning. Just press next. Now you can select your country. Um, in my case, it's Germany. Hold on, this may take a while. Okay, over here, Germany, language German. Okay, just use English language for now and click next. Okay, now you can type in your password, set a new password, in my case, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, press next. And now, if you have like this black border around your screen, like I do, just press this and hit next. You can also Register a Wi-Fi network if you want to. I'm just going to skip this step for now. 
and and when you're done with all of this you have to restart your system so just click restart now that your system has restarted your Raspbian should be working perfectly it's done you can use it as your normal everyday desktop now just a few things you might want to do is go to preferences and change a few things your configuration your screen config and just personalize your desktop do whatever you want and if you want to set up your Wi-Fi network just press on this press turn on Wi-Fi and then you should be able to set up your Wi-Fi network and if you want to use a Raspberry Pi on your desktop over SSH just make sure to click on my other video where I'm going to show you how to do that but apart from that that would be it for today thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and that I could help you out if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and if you want to see videos like this in the future you're welcome to subscribe See you in the next one.